Well, Victoria Hicks has been to one inner city school in Leicester, which is celebrating the resilience of its pupils, some of whom have had to overcome really difficult challenges. We said plants compete for many different types of things. A science lesson at Crown Hills Community College in Leicester. This time last year, this classroom was empty. Schools were back in lockdown and the majority of students were back to remote learning. For these pupils in particular, the pandemic has brought real challenges. Especially when my mum passed away, it was really harder because my dad had to look after like three daughters. But yeah, it did affect me, but now I think I'm in a better place now. I am partially sighted. When I was at home, it was very lonely. I, it was and a lot of st stress. Last year through lockdown, um, I couldn't come into school and I had to deal with one computer at home between four of us, and it wasn't that easy. Almost 90% of the 1,500 pupils at this inner city school have English as an additional language. The number of disadvantaged students is slightly above the national average. Here, they've had to work hard to support their pupils during the pandemic. We have a lot of students who have unfortunately uh, lost loved ones. They've also had to be at home helping the family. So we have students who have a lot of younger siblings. Um, so it's been a really difficult time uh, for many of our students, but I'm so proud with the way in which, you know, they've shown real strength of character and lots of them have come back um, and, and really hit the ground running, really. During subsequent lockdowns, these pupils stayed in school. The pandemic has taught each a different lesson. What I have learned from lockdown is how important it is to be in school. Lockdown's taught me, if anything, that you need to be more committed to school. And if you show commitment, then um, you can get quite a lot of out of school. Towards the approach of exams, I'm really working hard. I'm revising at home. I get extra tutoring. And also, I know that mum would be really proud of me. I'm feeling much more optimistic um, in terms of looking ahead at, the, at this academic year. The January exam started today, so exams are going ahead. This time last year they were cancelled. However, you know, you've still got students who, who have missed education, you've got students who are still isolating or maybe off, off ill. Um, so it's still quite a difficult time that we find ourselves in. But despite those difficulties, these students have been given a gold award for their commitment to their learning. Muskan and Carly now want to become teachers when they leave. Tamjid wants to be a game developer. Victoria Hicks, BBC East Midlands Today, Leicester. Let's have a look.